On our last agricultural tour, we visited a coffee plantation. Coffee is a crop that is very important in Costa Rica's history. In fact, it is credited with the promotion of equitable land distribution, resulting in a large middle class. Coffee beans are red and sweet to the taste when they are ripe. Yes, he's a coffee. Today, Costa Rica is known for very high quality coffee production. On our tour of the Golden Bean Coffee Plantation, we witnessed all the steps of coffee production, from when it is grown in the fields until it is processed and ready to drink. We learned how to make coffee in the traditional Costa Rican style using a cloth filter and hot water. The class had the opportunity to smell and taste different grades of coffee. Just like professional tasters, we spit out each of the samples. Derek, you're up. Yes, Lurpe. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Let's spit it. At the end of the tour, there was the opportunity to try each of the types of coffee produced on the plantation. Okay. Got the dark, which is the bold yes. taste. Which is really good. <laughs> this is the light, the smooth kind. I don't like this as much as I like the bowl, but I drink coffee all the time. So. I expected living with a host family, I'd do everything that they do and hang out and talk in Spanish most of the time. Um, when I got here, it's pretty close to that. Yeah, I was afraid that um, my mom wouldn't want to do anything with me, like that I was just going to be sitting in my room a lot or in the like, living room and, you know, no interactions, <laughs> but it's like completely opposite. It's as much as you want it to be, too. So. Yeah. 
I really enjoy living with my host family. Over the past few weeks, I have gotten a lot better with t about like talking with them, and I've actually been able to start like joking around with my like host mom and stuff. And we have like a few things that they always make fun of me for like not being able to say. And I don't have to do any chores. Like I'm not allowed to take my plates off the table and put them by the sink or even like wash dishes or anything like that. Other people? It's probably really awkward living with other people. Like what am I going to say to them? I can hardly speak to them. Yeah. I don't have anything in common with them, but it's really easy and I, I play games with my host siblings all the time and I talk to my nanny, I have a nanny, and my mom all the time. My host brother is just like my real brother and plays video games in his room. Yeah, I expected the houses to not be so nice. Um, I expect the standard of living to be a little bit lower. But my family has a really, really beautiful house, and compared to the houses in the U.S., they clean so much more. Mm. Um, my host mother was like in love with me, and she was is also interested in cultures of different worlds, of different places in the world. So I thought that was like a nice thing that we had in common. And her favorite food is Italian, so it's been awesome so far. And I've um, my host dad talks a lot. <laughs> And he can be hard to follow at times, but um, he seems to know everyone in Torrealba. But overall, I nice mean, geckos. it's a good experience and definitely would recommend it to anyone just to see how a different culture lives um, and the amount of rice and beans you eat <laughs> is a lot. Um, but a lot more healthier foods, like I get um, smoothies every morning and every night. And it's really good. Um, Carlos is my host father, and he's 65 years old, and he's really chill, and mm -hmm. very understanding with my lack of Spanish knowledge. And it's been like a really great experience. The only thing that is kind of weird is not being able to do anything. Like I get yelled at whenever I try to wash dishes, and you always have like, your food served, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, it's kind of like different than living by yourself and being able to do things for yourself, but overall I really, really enjoy it. Like, my neighborhood is really safe. Like I, I was worried that we'd be living in a really unsafe part of Torrealba based on what you guys said, like, oh, make sure you wear your money down all the time, like, don't do all these things, don't go, don't go out at night, but like, I'm really comfortable with where we live. Like, um, but as the weeks go on, um, it's getting easier and easier. Um, living with the host family has been like really fun and close with them. And I've enjoyed a lot, a lot, especially because I've had a close family experience before in Spain. And it, to say the least, it wasn't the greatest, so it was totally makes up for it. Um, it turned out to be really great. Uh, they're just another family. And if there's a problem, like I didn't wipe my feet off the one day, and my husband's like, Kang, turn around, see that rug? That's where you wipe your feet. He's like, oh, my bad. Yeah, I thought bugs were going to be like, crawling around everywhere. I never see any bugs in my house. She cleans every day. She does my laundry every single day. <laughs> it's really nice. It's, it's better than at home. Yeah, really. It's different, especially in another language, uh, because like, yeah, I mean, I can talk to them in Spanish, but then they'll have like their own little sidebars in Spanish where I don't understand a thing. I so it's know. literally like a family away from family. Yeah. Oh, like I thought it would be like I just thought it would be a lot different than it is. I really can't explain what I thought it would be like, yeah. but it's so much better than I thought it would be. Um, I feel at home with this family, like they, I feel like they've accepted me on their own, and uh, I can make fun of just like in my house, and uh, we make jokes, and the food is great. So I, I really like my host family, and I'm, I'm really glad that, that I get to have this experience with someone else. Like, I have a family that I can talk to about like anything. It's very like home. It's just like home, so. <laughs>